dear brothers and sisters and my dear friends i greet you all in the matchless and wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ and we welcome you all to this gracious word program may the grace of god and peace of christ be with us all as we study and meditate the god's word our lesson for today is based on this verse from first kings chapter 18 and verse 21 and elijah came to all the people and said how long will you falter between two opinions if the lord is god follow him but if baal then follow him but the people answered him not a word here the prophet elijah is speaking to the people of israelites and making them to commit or making them to decide whether they are going to follow the lord god the heavenly father or the god of this world named baal but at the end of this verse we can read that these people were calm and they did not tell even a word this is very dangerous position here the prophet asked them to decide whether they are going to be with baal or whether they are going to be with the heavenly father the god yes my beloved we are also in such situations or circumstances many times we have to decide in which way we are going to go we have to decide what we are going to do we have to decide whom we are going to follow as the prophet elijah is asking the people to decide whether you are going to follow the heavenly father the god or the so called god baal so we cannot be silent as they did we have to decide on many circumstances in our life today's lesson is based on this decision making how we can decide something this decision making is very important in our life in some situations we have to decide frequently we have to decide the everyday life we have to decide once in a week once in a month and in some situations we have to decide at a important time it's a lifetime decision may be called as like this it's a lifetime decisions we have to make whatever it may be how we can decide something on what basis our decisions should be for a children of god the word of god tells how we have to decide something whether it's a minor thing or a major decision whatever it may be how we can decide something let us read some verses first corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 says therefore whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do all to the glory of god yes my dear people the first thing the word of god instructs are giving counsel to us about decision making is whether we eat or drink whatever we do we have to do it for the glory of god so our decisions should be based on those things that the end of the day the end of the decision whether it is bringing glory of god whether it is bringing praise to god so the first thing we have seen from the bible is our decision should be based on that thing in which it brings the glory to god the second verse we can read is from proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding the second important aspect from the word of god what we are seeing today in our message is we have to trust in the lord next line in this verse tells that lean not on your own understanding so while making decisions whether it's small or big whether it's a minor or major decision so while making decisions we have to see to that our decisions are not based on our own understanding self based decisions but the word of god tells trust in the lord while you make decisions because he is almighty father he is the god who created us he knows everything he knows the end he knows what will be the result of our decision so when we trust in the lord and make decisions then it's going to be fine so the second thing about decision making we have read that trust in the lord and lean not on your own understanding the third verse we'll see is james chapter 1 verse 5 if any of you lacks wisdom let him ask of god who gives to all liberally and without reproach and it will be given to him the third aspect in decision making from the word of god what we are seeing today is if we feel that oh i am very weak in mind 
I don't have such a knowledge. I don't know, know how to decide something. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what will be the end. If we are lacking in wisdom, then the Bible instructs us or it encourages us to ask God. If any one of you lacks in wisdom, let him ask of God. And he is a God who gives liberally uh, without reproach and it will be given to him when he asks. So Solomon, the king, at his small age, at his young age, he did this. He was made a king after his father at his very small age. And he tells and he's afraid, oh, I don't know how to rule these people of Israelites. Then he straight away goes to God and asks God that, God, my father, I am very weak in wisdom. I do not know how to handle these people. I have a great challenge before me. So what should I do, God? Then the heavenly father gave him wisdom and also wealth. So this is the thing what we should do. If we are not able to do something properly, decide something properly according to the will of God or according to the word of God, if you are in confused state, if you do not know what to do, then straight away go to God. Ask him as Solomon the king did and it was given to him. Now, even now, we can read that there was no man as wise as Solomon. He was the wisest man. He is known for his wisdom, Solomon. But before he asked God, he was afraid. He cannot handle anything. So, if any one of us lacks in wisdom for decision making, what should I do in this thing? What should I do for my future? What should I do for my children? What should I do for my job? For anything and everything, we can straight away go to God and ask his counsel, read the Bible, go and talk with the uh, God's ministers, the servant of God, and they will guide us. So if anyone lacks in wisdom, they can pray and ask to God. Let us read one more verse, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. This verse gives us encouragement. This verse gives us strength. When we depend on God and make decisions, this verse tells if we do anything, everything according to the glory of God, that brings glory of God. And if we are trusting in the Lord and not leaning on our own understanding, and if we are lacking in wisdom and asking the wisdom from God and making decisions, then if we are doing these three things, then the Bible says in this verse, that whatever the God is giving us, the way he is showing us, how it will be? Let us read again. For I know the thoughts and I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you future and hope. Kindly see again in this verse, whatever God is giving us, the way he is showing us, that will be a way of peace and it will be a way of joy and hope, my dear brothers and sisters. So let us lean on his side. Let us at any instance and every time go and ask him, ask the word of God, ask the people of God, ask the servant of God and get counseling from them and decide something before we do. Let us read uh, Proverbs 3, 6, which tells that in all our ways, we have to acknowledge him, the heavenly father. Then he will strengthen us. So in every decision before we make and do, then we have to acknowledge God's way and will in those decisions. Then we are going to be strengthened by God. My dear brothers and sisters and viewers, all our decisions are converted into actions and we are going to enjoy or suffer the result of those actions. So our decisions are more important, most important. Hence, the Bible tells that we have to acknowledge God in all our ways and he will strengthen us. Proverbs 11, 14 says, in abundance of counseling, we have safety. We have to go and ask counseling to many people. Then we are going to be safe in the decisions what we are making. But we have to be careful in getting counseling. We can read from the Bible, those people who got counseling before making some big decisions, they got counseling from evil people and their ways were evil and they were uh, in danger. So we can get counseling before we make decisions. The wise thing to do is we have to get counseling from elderly people, we have to get counseling from the servant of God, God's ministers, and we have to get counseling from 
the Bible. We can read ourselves the Bible and we can get counseling. So this is the wisest way to do. If we are going to get counseling there from the representatives of Saturn and at the end of the day, we are not going to be getting a good result. God is not going to be with us. So we have to be wise enough to get counsel from the word of God and God's people. Before we end, we can also read Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. It tells that, Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Yes, before making any decision, let us call to the Lord. Let us go to the Lord. Let us pray. Let us uh, come to the Bible and make those decisions. And what will happen? We will be enlightened and God will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. See again, great and mighty things which we do not know. When we are making some decisions by our self-will, when we see our surroundings, when we look into that, we cannot see the future, how it will be. We cannot see some ways that are very fine. But when we are going to get counsel from the God, He is telling, He will show us the way which we do not know. A great and mighty things will happen. Yes, dear viewers, before we conclude this message, I want to just quote you or ju just mention you some Bible characters, those who have made big decisions, who are successful. But while making those decisions, it was not a pleasant situation for them. We can read about Moses in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 24 to 26. He decided in a such a situation whether to be a child of the princess in the palace or whether to suffer with the people of God. But he decided to suffer with the people of God. It was not a pleasant decision, but it was a decision that he took by the will of God. So also we can read about Joshua in chapter 24, 15. He says, I and my family will follow the heavenly father. We will serve him, the Bible God. He also tells the people, you decide whom you are going to follow, the gods of the world who are on the next side of the river or the heavenly father. So it's a strong decision what Joshua made. So we need to make such a decision. We can read about a woman in the Bible, Ruth. She also decided to follow her aunt after her husband's death. She would have been very safe going back to her home, being with her people. But she decided to follow her, her husband's mother and she said this thing, remember, that your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Sometimes our decisions may not be a pleasant one. It may not be a comfortable one for us. But those decisions taken based on God's word and with the help of God, they are going to give us good result. And finally, we will be rewarded by God. Thank you for your listening to this message. So, hope it, these verses and this message would have been helpful for you in making decisions. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for the counseling, the message that you have given us from the word of God. Bless all the listeners, viewers who are viewing this program. Be with them, guard them and guide them. Bless their family. In today's lesson, we have learned that while making decisions, we have to lean on your side. We have to get the counseling from you. We should not lean on our self-will. Help us to be like that. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Be blessed by studying the word of God. To receive the Voice of Truth International Magazine and to study the Bible systematically through our English Bible Correspondent Course, kindly write to us. Our address, Gracious Word, PO Box 15, Arsredi Madurai, 625016, Tamil Nadu. For more details, dial 9244204420, 9244214421. God bless you. The Church of Christ salutes you.